Yeah, so I think the Earth system models at the moment are, um, they have a, a pretty good representation of many of the processes, but because they're trying to cover the whole Earth, then you have a relatively simple description of most things in the models. So there are still Earth system models, for example, that have a very limited representation of um, uh, nutrients. So for example, nitrogen and phosphorus limitations on plant growth in the future. So we've got a great representation of these things within ecosystem models that we tend to use sort of uncoupled and we just run those on the land surface. We've got a good detailed representation of some of those processes in those models. Um, but those aren't all yet into the Earth system models. So getting that sort of level of detail in I think is important as well as improving the sort of the, the regional downscaling and improving the re re resolution of those Earth system models. That used to be limited by computing power but that's, that's no longer a limitation. So we can get that sort of extra level of detail into the models and check that that's an appropriate level of detail of course because a, a more complex model is not necessarily a better model.